Hello, everybody. Welcome to this special episode of Film Seizure. It's our thing that we do at least once, sometimes twice a year, which are the Friday the 13th fun times, happy things. Um, and uh, <laughs> we, we've, long, we've long said fuck off to the actual title of Friday the 13th. We're just in movies that are called Jason something or something Jason, <laughs> or as in this case, Freddy versus Jason, Dawn of Horror. What? Um, no, that's a Batman v Superman joke. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering about that. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, yeah, so you heard uh, my my regular co-host, Jason Oliver, say hello to the folkies out there. Hello to the folkies out there. And also, Chuck Moore. Chuck, do your thing. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of <laughs> Dawn of Horror, where we talk about Batman versus Superman. That would be a horror um, show. Anyway, yeah. so uh, Freddy versus Jason. This is uh, the 2003 Monster Mash that we had been long, long, long waiting for. Yeah. Uh, if, you were, if you were one of us, then you were sitting around saying, where's my Monster Mash? Where's my where's my Freddy fighting Jason business after ten long years of our little tease that happened at the end of Jason Goes to Hell? We finally get our uh, movie. Now I, I'm going to tell a little bit of a story here, real quick, because Jason, you're part of this story. <laughs> um, so I was working at uh, AMC theaters at the time that uh, that this came out. I was a projectionist, so I you know, put the movies together and then I go and, and, you know, show them for the, for the employees and it's a good old fun time. And it's like Freddie versus Jason, Jason, what do you think? You want to do this? And you're like monster mash. <laughs> I think for like about three hours straight, you just yelled monster mash at people. Yeah. It was like monster mash or monster battle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we watch this, and you know it's a fun movie. It, I, I'm going to give credit where credit is due on this movie. It knows exactly what it is, which is a fun, albeit shitty, horror movie. <laughs> this this movie gets more stupid every time I watch it. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's so stupid, uh, but but it does have some fun moments. But it has some really really dumb dumb moments and a couple of moments that really don't uh, age well no 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 not at all um i think that um destiny's child would like to have her performance back i would like I to were, give if, that performance if i were back. guessing um because i really don't like her oh um, she is a what don't you like about her that she gets really angry for no reason all of a sudden you're not she even does. Chuck. You're not even scary. You're not even scary. <laughs> That's the least of her problems in this movie. Is that, I know, I know, but uh, but uh, but uh, but I'm using that against you. Um, <laughs> well, she and would, she'd start yelling like immediately. Well, the, well, the, well, the, gay, was, the gay slurs don't help for sure. No, for no, sure. Yeah. And and uh, basically weaponizing the school nerd to be yeah. a, a a serial killer in waiting is not a good idea either. <laughs> that scene. I almost cringed myself out of ex out of existence, like I almost like imploded on myself. It's like, oh my god, he's going to kill somebody if you keep talking to him like that. Um, there is there there is. Oh, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. I, there's so many things, like little things about this movie that I love and hate at the same time. It's yeah. Very. It's it's a very conflicting movie for me because you mean, I do you mean all of the I do, pop culture references that get dropped in and characters that get slaughtered. You don't. Is that something that you hate and love at the same time? Because I was yeah. like, well, when when they killed Varsity Blues, I was like, I I kind of dig it, but I also really really hate it because I can just picture who who said yes to this idea, and I thought, oh, I hate this. Wait, I don't. All right, we'll, we'll have to we'll there. have to we'll have to get there. Um, Let me just say before we start talking, because I haven't said what I think about this movie yet. <laughs> I was in a shitty mood last night when I started watching this, and immediately it improved my mood. Oh, well, I had okay. written I, I had written this movie off, however, eighteen years ago now, as a flash in the pan crappy movie. Last night, I enjoyed nearly every minute of it. 
Yeah. Okay. I was like, oh, I, I was, enjoy watching it for sure. I do a lot of pausing when I'm watching movies at home when I'm alone. And this one was just like, it was over. I was like, <laughs> I haven't even gone to the bathroom. It is, it is, it is, a, brisk, it is a brisk watch. Like it never stops moving. And that's what I give this movie credit for is right. it, it delivers um, in almost every way as far as what you expect to see. Um, and even it even actually has a pretty realistic in this universe way of bringing the two together. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. It, it works. Yeah, the it story just works. works. Yeah. I mean, it's, I will say that, um, the, yeah, like, like you were saying, Jason, there are things about this movie that every time I watch it, there's just one more layer that's peeled off where it's like, <laughs> God, I'm, I'm such a stupid person, but I can't wait to see this again. Um, <laughs> This is one of those movies that that, that oftentimes plays during um, Fear Fest on AMC, like in in October, like when they do that um, every every year. Yeah, yeah. And it's like that's one that like if it's on when I go to check out what's on there just to see what's playing, I'm staying. I- I'm gonna stick. Um, and and it's inexplicable, but I do that. <laughs> I, I do too. I, I do too. It it is it is infinitely watchable. It is. Uh, it's leagues better than Jason X. Like oh my god. Oh my god. god. <laughs> so 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 Jason X is is stupid in all the same ways, but but not nearly not enjoyable. Fun. But not yeah. nearly as much fun. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So really, what what we've got here is. Um, also, yeah, starting with Jason X, like Jason went Canadian because man, this is a Canadian movie. Jason, Freddy versus Jason. Like, there, <laughs> there are, yeah, well, the, it is true that there is a, a a layer of shit to this movie, <laughs> but there are, there are Canadian actors. Um, it's like half the cast of like the Ginger Snap sequels are in this movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and thank God for that. Uh, well, sure, sure, uh, but I'm, it's all, also Brendan Fletcher. Um, the the guy who delivers my, my the single best line in the movie which i'm gonna tell you later when we get okay there. all right you guys are doing all sorts of professional teases today <laughs> <laughs> we want people to stick around for pretty yeah <laughs> wait until later where i tell you something else awesome, <laughs> right uh, yeah. i will say i will say that i've never i don't think i've ever experienced more perfect casting than brendan fletcher and zach ward as brothers like that is going canny how perfect that cat yeah they look like brothers yep and if you know zach ward was fucking fergus from uh christmas story oh, i did yeah. not know that or the, the, the older that. brother who kills himself kills himself you know, they think he kills him yeah he was he was the bully from christmas story makes sense mm-hmm. hmm. Farkas, right Farkas, uh, Farkas. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Farkas, Farkas, whatever Yep. Uh, stick it up. Your Farkas versus Farkas. That's what we're going to talk Scott about now. Farkas. Yeah. <laughs> Gut Farkas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any, anywho. All right. All right. So we have. Um, so basically, this this is more of a sequel to Freddy or uh, to Jason Goes to Hell. And I guess yeah. technically, uh, Freddy's dead too. Because yeah. at, at the end of yeah. both of those, they end up basically in hell because that's the like. That was not surprising that Freddy was in hell when Jason was killed at the end of right. Jason goes to hell, yeah, and he grabs the 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 mask, right? So, uh, yeah, so basically, it, it's it, you know because Jason X is in the future, so get that out of here, forget about that one. Actually, just forget about that. Just one. exit out of your <laughs> yeah, mind. right? Yeah, exactly. Just yeah, X marks the spot on that joke there. Um, Chuck, good job. Anyway, so um, I basically, mean, when it comes Friday, right down to it, three of the worst Friday the Thirteenth movies have preceded this. Yes, but I still say eight is miles ahead of nine and ten. Oh, I I agree. <laughs> yeah. Mostly, yes. Mostly, mostly. Um. So yeah. So basically, Freddie is lamenting the fact that everybody's forgotten them, or forgotten him. That he is. Um, he, he used to kill kids and, um, they, they were all his children, as he would say. And then they did a thing where they could forget him. And so they were playing 
clips of the older movies where you see basically how he struck fear in them and then how they were able to defeat him. Yeah. So he needs to find somebody that will help him uh, come back to uh, the minds of, of the people of Elm Street. Well, Springwood, Spring, right? Springwood. Spring, yeah, he's a Springwood killer. Yeah, Springwood killer. mangler yeah. or something. Right. Yeah. Um, and so they, he, uh, he, he basically um, says, hey, I think I found somebody. And that's when we see a girl with the, just the biggest fake titties. <laughs> Those things are grotesque. Um, she's just right out of the gate. Boom. Top off. That, that, that sends the alarm out to Jason Voorhees to come and kill him. <laughs> so question number one is, is what body does he resurrect when he comes back, when Jason comes back? Because at the end of eight, he was like boiled into a child. At the end of nine, he was, well, he was blown up in nine and then he was a, he was a parasite monster. And then in 10, he was, that was in the future and he was in space. So what actual physical corporeal body was resurrected in Freddy vs. Jason? Serious question. I think you're overthinking a serious answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can tell you, it, it is. It is not. Um, it, it is not. What's his face? That was Jason for the last three movies. Um, it was not his body. Let's put it that no. way. It was right. a completely different dude. Not um, Kane Hodder. Ken, Ken not Kurzinger Kane Hodder or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Ken Kurzinger Ken was. Kurzinger. Uh, yeah. Who uh, Kane Hodder beat up in um, Jason Takes Manhattan. He oh. was the fry cook that Jason threw out the window. Nice. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so I guess Ken, Ken Kersinger got the last laugh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So he he brings and he apparently kills uh, this chick, and it and then um, Freddie starts talking to him using uh, Jason's mom as uh, as a disguise. Two and things real quick. Yeah. Two things real quick. I, re I really like how this movie starts with the melding of the two themes, the Nightmare on Elm Street theme into the ch 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 mm -hmm. right? I like that too. Really cool on the New Line um, uh, logo. Really cool. Yeah, it took me by surprise because our, our, our Blu-ray set just like went right into the movie. From the, <laughs> like it showed a preview screen and then it went right into the movie. And I'm like, what? Oh, I had a preview. I had a preview for no, the No, I had a preview. I had a preview too, but then after the cell <laughs> two, and there was Friday the thirteenth, two thousand nine, and then I got another green screen that oh, said weird. this preview, and then and then it happened, and then the movie happened. I'm like, what 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 I wasn't even looking at it. Dude, I spent thirty seven minutes in the beginning of this movie trying to figure out where the fucking menu was. <laughs> it is so poorly like well, I'm like, I want to go back. I want to set up some things. And there's I'm no like, title screen. It's just a menu. No. It's weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the weirdest disc ever. Um, but I want to I want to mention also that I really like the prologue to this movie, right? Where, where Freddie is explaining everything and what yeah. he's got to do. I really like I like the flashback to the old stuff with the Nightmare well, Kids or the Elm Street Kids. Yeah. I um, but but man, Robert England's performance, his his voiceover performance is so fucking Pee Wee Herman. It's it's like nails on a chalkboard. When he says, "I can't come back if no one's afraid," it's like, <laughs> oh my god, it's like, <laughs> fucking Bob, man, it's so terrible. <laughs> well, the. the <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> although, yeah, and I and I agree with you that I it, like it is it. the it is the it is like it is like a continuation of Cartoon Freddy, sure. and, and 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 he totally is like Cartoon Freddy for the whole this whole movie. This whole movie is a cartoon, right? But, it is. It really is. Yeah, but yeah, no, I agree with you because it's like you got to think Freddy hadn't been on the screen for nine years, and not enough people saw Jason X for it to matter. So it's been. Uh, 10 years since since uh since jason has been seen i mean it really does it really the, the performance the voiceover performance there feels like paul rubens when he's doing peewee when his bike gets stolen <laughs> <laughs> 
go back and listen to it, you won't be able to unhear it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, basically, he's like, hey, go to Springwood or Springfield or Springwood. Get, Springwood. Springwood. Springwood Slasher. Yep. Yeah. Go, go get Bart Simpson in Springfield. And then it ends up the movie doesn't happen because he goes to the wrong town. Um, <laughs> so, the, so he goes and, uh, and it's like basically go kill some people and people will start whispering whether or not this is Freddy or not. Yeah. And that will bring me back. Actually kind of smart. Really. It's a good. It's a really good idea. Yeah. I love a, it. I love the a, premise. It's a yeah. good premise. Totally um, works. And so, yeah. So basically that's exactly what happens. Um, uh, there's there's uh, a few girls hanging out having a sleepover it's uh it's our three it's two of our main characters uh monica kina as lori uh kelly Rowland as kia I, oh, God. she is just the worst so and then is. and then there's uh katherine isbell as gib gib smith. smith that's a weird name i that wonder if, i wonder if originally that was meant to be a guy maybe and, and and what they did is they did a quick rewrite to make her a girl and give her a boyfriend to, to launch everything i wonder if originally that was a guy who was dating one of the other two girls gets and because that's a weird name nobody you has probably that were just like Catherine isabella isabel's available let's put her in this movie well, we're already, like, yeah, it's like we're already Canadian this place up. <laughs> <laughs> but she is, yeah, she's pretty awesome in this movie. She's drunk the entire film, which I love. I love her. Um, yeah. She's just. She is. She is a disaster. <laughs> which I guess then that means I love her too. Um, but the, so she, yeah. So basically, um, Catherine Isabel invites her boyfriend over and and apparently her boyfriend who's a major douchebag has a school nerd buddy or no not a school nerd buddy another popular kid comes over um and it was all kind of an idea apparently gib and kia are like like lori's got to get laid she's hung up on this kid in the mental institution bring over just a random guy and we'll make her fall in love with him or something well, yeah. so we don't know that this kid is in the mental institution right? no it's just the no, she out. thinks she thinks that he's moved he moved away and never and never, never wrote her wrote and this her. is where kelly Rowland just yells at her like you need to get over that fucking guy you didn't even have sex with him like she just starts yelling yeah but anyway yeah that's right. our that's our weird introduction, and then you have the other popular kid at school. Who's and then kinda... there's a then there's like a forty five second conversation about feng shui, and it's like it doesn't really matter. <laughs> what what ends up happening really is matter. is that Jason follows along. He's like, I smell sex, so he shows up to kill Gibbs' boyfriend in bed by stabbing him repeatedly through the back, and then folding the bed up. That's not even a foldable bed. No, he just he breaks just, it in half. He just breaks it in half, and and and, 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 and yeah, and just. Uh, I, do my turn. I do appreciate that the most repugnant character, like that you are just introduced to, is immediately killed. I really like that. Yeah, <laughs> no, I Kia doesn't. Kia most, doesn't die until later. But it takes a little while. <laughs> she she gets a hero's death, which sucks. Uh, but let, let me let me derail this for a minute because you guys have done it enough already. <laughs> um, do you have you ever seen the commercials with the bed that recognizes you snoring and like lifts you up? <laughs> no, but I probably need that. <laughs> like the, it, it can hear you snore and it will lift you up. Is, is there a Jason Voorhees in the mattress? And he's like, yeah, imagine it. him like on the side <laughs> of the bed. But every time I see that commercial, I'm like, what if you're sleeping on your stomach? Ooh. Like what happens to you? If it, and that I learned last night. That's all I what was going to say. If you, it bends you in half. half. Oh, that's what happens because <laughs> there's a Jason Voorhees in that, yeah. in that mattress. Yeah, he doesn't just, care. He just doesn't care. It's like, well, I don't. Yeah, I have one job, and it's gonna get done. <laughs> He's Jason Snorries. I can't get it out. Jason <laughs> Snorries. I can't even say it. <laughs> Look at Jason Snorries. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh God! So oh, end that uh, yeah, well, yeah. This, it doesn't get any that, better from here. That was me. seriously the best digression ever, though. 
Thank you. Um, so, yeah, uh, so um, a couple of the cops whisper, it's like, oh, do you think it's, do you think it's uh, the, the Freddy guy? And the police sheriff is like, shut your fucking face. <laughs> like, don't you say that name. Right. It's bad news. And sure enough, it does bring uh, Freddy back into uh, some something like there's the one, the other popular guy sees Freddy in the street. <laughs> Freddy, tr- oh, this kills me. The Freddy Freddy. tries to. I'm still, I'm still laughing about Jason's story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy uh, Freddy Krueger tries to swipe at him as a as a uh, as a shadow guy, and and it doesn't do anything. He's not strong enough yet. And the popular guy looks at himself and he's like, "I'm okay," and then like walks off. Like it, it's it's so bad. But he ends up getting killed. He and his dad end up getting killed by uh, Jason. And apparently, both this guy and his dad are just uh, bags of blood. <laughs> that get exploded when you when you pop it like a like a like a zit. There is a lot of blood in this movie, and I yeah. love it. Runaway blood budget. Oh, yeah, but yeah. I have to say the shadow. It was a Freddy... runaway fake titty budget. <laughs> <laughs> shadow Freddy was pretty cool looking. Yes. For, oh like, yeah. For some of this movie doesn't look that great, right? Like the it's dated obviously sure. at points but that shadow freddy i was like that actually looked really cool yeah but yeah yeah those two end up dying yes and then yeah. and so basically it starts ramping up a lot of the conversation around what's going on what's doing this well you got officer doofy who's come to town you mean john elway <laughs> right. oh, yeah it's it's betty's dad from uh, riverdale he looks uh, like john elway a little he bit he does a little yeah. bit yeah he does uh, that's lachlan monroe yeah, uh, he's in a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. De- Deputy Stubbs. Um, so he is. Uh, he's. He happens to be a transplant from um, whatever they call Crystal Lake these days, and he's like, "Hey, um, this could be a, 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 a Jason thing." Yeah, and they're like, "Oh, get the fuck out of here with that." We it's know like, who it is. We're Shut a pretty up. town. <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck out of here with your Jason <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Only Freddy's around here, yeah. around these parts. Yeah, <laughs> but I do. This is when you start to realize that they are. <laughs> it would be like showing up. It'd be like showing up in 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 like Green Bay to say like, "Oh, the Bears are the best." It's like these, these guys are the Bears. It's like, "Fuck you, get out of here." <laughs> just, just previous to this, you do see Mark and his buddy in the mental institution. They're being given a drug called. Snooze all or something. Uh, uh, Hypnosil. That, that's from Hypnosil. that's from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Three. You're right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So they're giving a drug, given a drug called Hypnosil. Um, we don't exactly know why they're in there, but then I think he does mention to his buddy that he saw Lori's dad kill, kill her, her mother. Yeah. And Lori's and we, dad is uh, it was sometimes works for that hospital and was able to basically just lock him away. More right. Or less. And then we have, is it, is he Brennan Fletcher? Mark yeah. is the, yeah. and then his friend, I can't remember. His, Will Rollins, that's Jason Ritter. It's Jason Ritter, John Ritter's kid. Oh, awesome. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, so one of their, one of them's brother had killed himself, but they've been committed along with other kids and they're all taking this drug yeah there's, we, a, there's a really cool scene where like later on where you see all the kids who've taken too much hypnoso because they kept dreaming because the whole the whole point of this of this drug and it was used a few times in the in the nightmare and Elm street sequels um the whole point was was that they knew freddie was a thing and was a problem so they would prescribe this non-fda fda approved experimental drug that would allow you to sleep but would take away your ability to dream. And that was what all the adults got to thinking would be the way to get rid of Freddie. Right. Yeah. Yes. And before the cop goes in, you know, deputy dupas, we have the scene at the, the corn field because people have to recognize Jason, right? There are witnesses that have talked about him and that's yes. why the um, deputy Well, knows. before, before that though, there's, um, there's the scene at the high school because um, yes, Brendan we skipped ahead a little. Brendan sorry. Fletcher and um, Jason Ritter, they escape because 
because Jason Ritter, he's the boyfriend of Monica Kina, who's been locked away. And he sees that, that there was a murder at her house and he gets worried that she's in danger. So they break out of the insane asylum to go check and make sure that she's okay. And they show up at the school and that's when um, Monica Kina is kind of having her, she's recollecting these nightmares that she's having. She had had a nightmare in the police station, which is one of my favorite shots where she's like trying to remember the name that she heard and yep. she and her head's on the table and the, and the camera is looking up at her and she's like trying to remember what was his name? What was his name? And she says Freddie and it like all kind of like, like does that thing with the whoop, right? Yep. And, then she's and in the she, world. She has also the the expression that she has on her face looks an awful lot like the um, it looks an awful lot like the poster to the first movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, there were a lot of times like there was that where it's like that looks like something that belongs to a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Yeah, that, yeah. that that's that is a cool cool moment. Yeah. I really like it. it. Feels it feels scary like yeah. in, a, in a cartoon horror movie. That's a scary moment. And, um, but then later she's telling her friends, um, you know, that she's been dreaming about this, this guy named Freddy Krueger and that there are these schoolgirls who are singing this song and she starts singing the song one, two, Freddy's coming for you. And that's when Brendan Fletcher shows up and delivers the best line of the movie. He says, you know why they're singing that? Because that's when he comes for you. <laughs> It's like no shit, fucking dude. You know why they're telling you to lock the door? Because you should lock the door. <laughs> because you can't, you can't get in. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. makes me laugh every time because it's so profoundly stupid, but he delivers it with such conviction. It's yeah. the best. <laughs> it's so weird. They cut out, they cut out, like I watched the special features. It explains why they're at where they're at because the other guy is like halfway down the hall in a different yeah. direction. And it's like, how the, why are these guys separated? Why does he come in here just saying this weirdness? But yeah, they are, uh, they have broken, no, well, not broken in the school. They shouldn't be in the school because every adult in this town apparently knows exactly who they are and where they've been. So you, you definitely have an idea that there's some kind of cover up going on, right? If you didn't already, yeah. you're like, they're covering something up in this. Right. Town. Yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, they run away out of the school. Um, and then everyone goes to a party. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, hey, so, you know, what hey, your boyfriend really? just died. Yeah, Let I was the green flag fly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing, nothing gets you, you know, hey, alcoholic teenage friend of ours, you know, why don't you, why don't you go party and drink the memories of, of your boyfriend that got like heinously murdered while you were in the shower in the next room? Nobody asked the question of like, who the fuck could do that to a bed? Did, 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 did they had everybody knew all the adults knew who did it? They, all the adults knew Freddie. This is a Freddie job. Yeah. Yep. It's but no, Freddy it job. wasn't a Freddy job. Yeah, well, we but, know we know that, but, but that was that. Well, well, Deputy everybody. Stubbs so, knows that. Yeah, like, not yet. It, not it, time it for this of, part. It is kind of, sort of, indirectly a Freddy job, anyway. Sure, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair, fair enough. If we're yeah, gonna, hey, if we're gonna hey, get down into semantics here, the yeah. next thing Bre Brendan Fletcher says is coffee. Make friends with it. <laughs> Yes. So the, he is all fucking in, man. So they go to a party at a uh, at a, uh, a cornfield, and it's like a rave, and um, it's it shot like an like an early two thousands rave. It made me think of the Matrix <laughs> two or three, whatever. Well, I've I've had the pleasure of watching an awful lot of Resident Evil movies, and it made me think of that. And I was like, ah, I had a little bit of PTSD there for a second. Isn't it Brendan Fletcher? Isn't, isn't not Brendan yeah. Fletcher? Isn't um, uh, Fargus? Isn't he in a Resident Evil movie? Have you gotten to that one yet? I don't know. I now don't know. They're all Fargus? they're all blending. They're all blending together. Fergus, like, whatever. Fuck. It. Uh, <laughs> Fargus. Um, I this don't scene, know. I'll I look just, this up. Yeah, go for it. I love this scene. Me too. I love it, this scene. 
it is so stupid. So many stupid things happen in it because I love this scene. Uh, uh, Jason Ritter, Will Rollins shows up and he's about to tell Lori, like, hey, I saw your father kill that dude uh, or kill your mom. And then Kelly Rowland is like, hey, no time for this. We got to dance. And then everyone just gets happy and starts dancing. Well, no, but, like, uh, but at this during this time, though, also is when nerdy guy wants to, to hit on Monica Keener and Kelly yeah. Rowland's like, no, you get the fuck out of here. You fucking loser. He really you, gives it. Why, to why don't you why don't you go fucking kill yourself <laughs> or whatever she says, like a fucking asshole that she is. And <laughs> And, and meanwhile, this kid, you can just see in his face, it's like, you have created a mass shooter, you dumb asshole. What are you going to do about it when he comes for you? What's really sad is this kid is genuine, right? And he's yes. a nice kid. And you don't, and, and, you don't and treat she's like... she's a fucking awful, terrible person, and she's treated like a hero in this movie. Yeah, you don't treat anyone like that. But this kid, all of his intentions are good. He gets yelled at by her earlier when he's trying to help Lori too in the hallway. Yep. And she's like, yeah, she doesn't have time for losers nerdies. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, yeah, and it's like and and here's the thing though. I get the impression cuz you know, we've all lived long enough to to see how different things are handled in different generations and different decades and stuff. I have a feeling those were all meant to make her seem like she was somebody you wanted to be your friend. Yeah. God, I and hope that's not. Fucking unfortunate because she is Canada. Those fucking assholes. I know, right? Fucking Canada. Blame Canada. Of course, yes. There's a whole song that you can listen to. to but dance. anyway, anyway, they start <laughs> dancing and Gib wanders off drunk because somebody was talking about, and I forget that kid's name. Her um, boyfriend. No, well, no, her boyfriend is dead, but the right. Jason Muse character. Oh, owner, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was talk- painfully obvious even 20 years ago that that was a fucking Jason Muse knockoff. Yeah. Yeah. But he was talking about how he, you know, had got slashed and killed and everyone got blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, thanks a lot. Throws her cup at him and grabs but another drink. But then she drink. gets another cup. And she <laughs> grabs another drink and starts wandering off into the woods. Um, into the cornfield but yeah into the court thank you the cornfield um and she apparently just passes out drunk well she sees her boyfriend he's like hey what do i say get over here bitch and uh, so she just like kind of follows him twice yeah fuck that guy i'm glad he's dead but obviously Um, she passes out just right she's she's passed out right yes and so meanwhile there's like a fucking mad max type character kind of creeping out of the (laughs) cornfield and like sees this lady he's a glow stick sales rapey glow stick guy (laughs) that's what i but i but he would fit right right in with the mad max movie <laughs> if he was there too he was um, looking for gasoline he was he, was, he found her <laughs> <laughs> he was looking for gasoline yeah so yeah, <laughs> yeah. Find, and he's like well you know it is the apocalypse so i guess i'm gonna do this thing and uh so <laughs> this this sets off the the warning to jason Voorhees that uh oh <laughs> sex is happening <laughs> so he makes his way over there and she's being chased in the uh in the nightmare world in the boiler room classic we always like the boiler room in these yeah. in these uh, freddy movies and uh meanwhile you've got mad max guy um you know taking advantage of her and uh just this freddy is about to get her because i think he shoved her in a locker or something or she shoved herself into a locker. He comes uh, in upside down. Like a, like a vampire bat. Yeah. He's got all sharpie teeth and everything. And, uh, and, and just then, her entire torso explodes in his face. And he's like, what? No! And she because vanishes. Jason, and she vanishes. She melts. Because yeah. Jason has stabbed Mad Max Man and her, run them both through. Mm-hmm. And and then launches Mad Max guy to fucking who knows where to the fucking moon. She was mine. Yeah. And, so yes. Freddie realizes he's unleashed a monster, right? If we um, can't control who, Jason Voorhees. He's yeah, who's now stealing his kills, and that's not good. That's um, not. That's no bueno. So Jason walks up on uh, Jack Black, who's drinking Everclear from a pitcher. Yes, right. yeah. like, this Everclear is fucking me up. <laughs> well, but of, no, no, this is this is the these are the um, Varsity Blues guys. The they're Letterman's and yeah. and in the blue jackets, and they and they have country accents, and they're and they are um, uh, like football bros. They they are essentially the fat dude 
and the um, uh, Scott Kahn character from Varsity Blues. And I cannot believe I just remembered that much detail. About <laughs> I had no idea what you were talking about that whole time. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of funny the way they treat Jason. They're like, yeah, you get out of here. This isn't a place for. I wish I wrote this down is, exactly. This is not a Halloween party. It's a rave. It's yeah. a pre- it's a kager, not a not a Halloween party. Yeah, they and rave, yeah. Jason's like, okay, well, I'm going to turn your head around. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Jason talked like that. It's like, okay, well then, sir, I will. Yeah, turn your head around. Watch and, as and, I turn your head the, around, young man. <laughs> and then the fat, the the big kid, the 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 Jack Black guy, he um he does something pretty smart. He lights him on fire. He throws, he throws the Everclear, the Everclear on, him. on him and lights him on fire. And then we have a really bitchin' live burn. The like, best fucking scene in the movie, I thought. This <laughs> reminds me, this reminds me, this is like a throwback to one of the best scenes in Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 with Freddy when he attacks the party. Oh, yeah, yeah, Which is one of my favorite scenes in the whole franchise. Um, this is very much that, but now you have you have Jason and he's fucking on fire and it's awesome. And he's and he's throwing his uh, his his machete like it's a fucking javelin through the fat kid. Yeah, because yep. the fat kid runs away into the party. He throws his javelin machete. Looks more like a sword in this movie, which is kind of funny. <laughs> right. He kills well, him and and- it goes through the guy, but remains on fire. Now, that's that is... That is skill. Yes. And then Jason ends up slashing through another kid and hitting a keg, which puts him out, unfortunately. I wish he remained on fire for the rest of the movie because it was so damn cool. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Would have really helped him against Freddy as it this turned kid, out. It's Honestly, amazing how long he was on fire, though. Like, yeah. it is. It is a really long life burn. Yeah. And yeah. There's was, a lot of good close ups to where yeah. it, where you don't see like that wet bandage that the guy wears. It was making me wonder if that was if there was any CGI on this because even the way they put him out with the keg, it's like normally you have to roll out of a fire and have somebody come like spray you with uh, the CO2 canister or whatever the it's, hell it it's is. In, it's in the, actually, if it's on the disc, the special effects um, yeah. bonus feature is on, it's on there and it's, it's a live burn. It's, it's, oh, one of the, watch that. It, it's one of the wall of text of features that are on this yeah. disc. It's yeah. So yeah. But that, um, this scene yeah. could have gone on for 20 more minutes with him killing This could have been the rest of the movie would, as far I, as I I would have been happy. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. happy. If if there's a character, a version of Jason you can play in the Friday the 13th version a game where he's on fire, I want to be him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is where I wrote in this, if I wrote my note, I actually kind of love this movie. <laughs> because <laughs> at that point, I was like, the, I mean, this is the coolest thing I've seen in a Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street movie in, in at least three entries for both. Sure. Sure. At least, maybe more. I don't yeah, know. I, was, I mean, I think you'd have to go back to six. sleeping bag kill in seven. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, and also the weed weed whacker kill. That's pretty good in seven. But then, yeah, for for Nightmare on Elm Street, you got to go back to like the the third movie or something. Yep. I think, I think we we uh, behind the curtain a little bit. Jason seems to have disappeared. Yeah, he's, he's uh, he, he, this is our nightmare. Jason, Jason went into the dream world. Yeah, right. Ex- or no, he came out of the dream world. Jason, Jason Snorhees got Jason. <laughs> Jason Snorhees got him. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. So anyway, um, yeah. So from here now, it's like, okay, well, Freddy Krueger is still a thing that's happening. As is, um, because this is when jason ritter's buddies uh yeah jason and laurie go back to mark's house after leaving her dad exactly because the dad because they they all decide to go home it's like wow what a crazy night what a party that was let's all go home and so they go home and um then laurie sneaks out and they all decide let's go let's go check on on mark and and mark has fallen asleep and he is going to deliver a message for freddie well he doesn't he doesn't want to, but Freddy makes it happen, burns that motherfucker up, and, and it spells Freddy's back on his back. That's clever. I wish Jason was here because that the way it's burned into his back looks like the title card for society. It does. The yeah, movie. It does. Um, but yeah, so Mark has been... Oh, I got a, hang on a second. There we go. Um, yeah, no, right. Go ahead. Mark has uh, been... Yeah, Mark Mark fell asleep, like you said. Um, he ends up seeing steam coming out of his bathroom, um, and his brother is in there. 
Um, and this is where he kind of realizes, or if he hadn't realized before that Freddie killed his brother, right? Correct. Um, and he, he nearly escapes. Uh, Mark and Lori are banging on the window, or not Mark, excuse me, Will and Lori are banging on the window trying to wake him up, but they just can't do it. And then, like you said, he gets that burned into his back. Right. So then they go and basically gather up everyone who's still alive, right? Right. They, gra- they gather up Kelly, Rowan, and Nerdy Kid. I feel bad calling him that, but I can't remember his name in this movie. Um, and they're sitting around a table automagically deciding how Freddy has... <laughs> how Freddy- automagically? <laughs> yes. That's good. I like that. <laughs> automatically determining how Freddie has orchestrated this whole thing. Um, and then they start talking about how they need to leave someone as bait. Right. right. And they all look at Lori and some, somehow sex comes up and Kelly Rowling. Well, yeah, she, well, she ain't, she's a virgin. So let's, let's tie her up and use her as bait. Yeah. And she's like, why me? And Kelly's like, well, he has no use for you if he can have sex with me. And it's like, what the hell is going on? Oh, she's dreaming. Right. But yeah, go ahead, Jeff, if you could take it from there. Yeah. So the, um, yeah. So basically, um, they, they're, um, I actually, I don't really know where I'm. Okay. Where I'm so, going with this. So go <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it gets, so they explain what Freddie's doing. They say they're going to trap him. Um, deputy douchebag comes in and says, no, this is Jason Voorhees. Who's, who's doing this. And then they decide they should go after Freddie first. And in order to do that, they need to protect themselves. So they break into the Weston, um, psychiatric. They need to get, need to get the hypnocell. Yeah. To get the hypnocell. <clears throat> oh, they also have, uh, Jason Muse with them. Yeah. Who's, I don't know how all of a sudden he's part of their gang, but he is. Yeah, right. Yeah. He he somehow got yeah. I don't really. Know. Yeah, this, this middle this middle part's a little little fuzzy for me to be honest with you. So um, the, they break up into two groups, right? To search for the hypnocell, right? Um, and don't they go? Don't they also go to go get um, uh, what's his face? Um, Jason Mark? Ritter's friend. Yeah. yeah, we we already talked about that. Oh, sorry, I might dropped out. My yeah. yeah. It's good. He's dead. Yes, right, he's, he's dead. Gone. He's Gonzo. <laughs> he's Gonzo. We can talk about his brother's bitching van because it's bitching. It is. It's just, well, we should we can mention it now because the reason the deputy found them is because he said the mystery van is pretty obvious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which which comes back around to uh, they they were playing like fuck Mary, uh, whatever earlier, and they brought up the Scooby Doo gang. And, yes. and Kerry Roll, uh, Kelly Rowland's like, I ain't going to answer none of these questions. It's like, get the fuck out. You're not playing <laughs> any games. You're not doing anything productive. You're, you're an asshole. <laughs> yeah, you're so right. Like, she was supposed to be a badass, but it comes off so Bitchy. Wrong. She comes yeah, so across wrong. like she's too cool for school, and it's like, then go to a different school. Then, well, yeah, and people, people are dying, and other people are trying to help you, and you're still being an asshole about it. Right. Um, but while they are in the Weston Institute, and like you said, this middle part is kind of fuzzy too, but Jason Muse ends up getting high in a room. Um, and, 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 <laughs> and, and Freddie comes in as a little caterpillar. He's thing. a caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland, basically. Uh-huh. He's right. smoking his smoking He's, his hookah. Yeah, he brought a hookah, and then Jason Mew's like, "Whoa, all right, whoa, come <laughs> here, little dude. Let's do this. Get into my mouth." Yeah, um, he gets possessed very similarly to how people got possessed in the last Jason movie, or yeah, not uh, well, canonically the last Jason you know movie or whatever. Right, right. So yeah, it's um, it's weird. But he he takes that big giant worm like a champ. You got you got to say that at least. Yeah, he he's got it. he's got he's got a future in another profession if he wants. He sucks it down pretty good. And while <laughs> after he does that, he Freddie basically has him dump all the hypnocell. Yes. Um, and while that's going on, we have the scene you mentioned earlier, Jeff, where uh, Lori, um, Will, 
and who's the third person with them? It's the other girl, I think. Yeah. Maybe it is Kelly. Yeah. It's Kelly Rowland. Is with them, and they discover all the people that had taken too much hypnosil because they wouldn't stop dreaming. Right. Um, and Lori's like, well, who would do this to people? And and uh, Will is like, well, your dad signed these. So yeah. your dad's an asshole, and he also killed your mom. There's that. Take that. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's like... I, I this has just been a very rough day. I just <laughs> I just want to go someplace else right now. Yes, because <laughs> that's how I would feel too. It's like my whole world has just crumbled in the last twenty four hours. <laughs> but at the same time, while this is going on, Jason has broken into Weston. Mm-hmm. He crushes the security guard with the door, which is kind of awesome. Uh, the the blood is not awesome. Like you think it scene. looked bad? It looked horrible it was <laughs> it was embossed it's like, yeah, i think the fact that this movie is jason's mentioned multiple times as a cartoon horror none of the blood bothers me none of the gore no, no, no but but it, the effect is bad <laughs> okay that's what i was at yeah, yeah. okay i got you yes yeah it didn't look uh, great there no it didn't um because it looks metallic and it's like well that guy had way too much iron in his system yep who, anyway who is the kid who plays the nerdy kid who likes um, Monica? I can't, uh, I keep that, looking, that's Chris Marquette. He um, he has the best scream in this movie. <laughs> yes, he does. It is so great <laughs> when Jason he screams attacks, like a girl. <laughs> yes, when Jason attacks in like that weird control room where him and um, the deputy are. Oh my God! It is the best. It's it, it, it's, <laughs> it's high pitch. Like and he, and he does the things where he pulls it, puts his hands to his face when he does it. Uh, <laughs> it's wonderful. It's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I kind of actually like his performance in this movie quite a bit. I like yeah. him. He's one of the more believable people in it. Like, as the character they're supposed to be, he seems kind of real. Yeah. Um, compared to everyone else in the movie who seems kind of whatever. Well, they're, the they're they cartoonish. I mean, yeah. uh, he's, he's actually a character that you should feel bad when he meets his ultimate end, and you kind of do. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, but like, I mean, and, and to be honest with you, I mean, like Jason Ritter and Monica Keener are just fine as what they are supposed to be too. Yeah, they are. They are. Um, Monica Keener really does feel like she belongs in a Friday the 13th movie. Whereas Jason Ritter feels like he belongs in a nightmare on Elm street movie. Um, they, they kind of blend that really, really well, even though those two types of characters from those two franchises, probably shouldn't exist together they have to be different in order for those those stories to work exactly right yeah um what was i gonna say so anyways jason is attacking the block right and freddie has taken (laughs) over jason muse and muse i can't pour that stuff down the drain we need that stuff we need that (laughs) stuff but he does it anyway. He pours all the hit missile down the drain. Um, and it doesn't really end up mattering. They didn't need it anyway, because the next part of their plan involved putting someone to sleep anyway. So whatever. But Freddie, um, with his, his possessive powers, he yes. he's two big syringes of tranquilizer. And Jason Mews stands in – I like this scene. Jason Mews is standing in the um, hallway with the tranks behind his back, like facing down Freddie. Right, mm-hmm. and they're running away. Or sorry, facing down Jason, and the rest of the crew is running away from Jason, and they go past him, and they're like, "Come on, man, come on!" And he's just like, "I got this, bitch!" Mm-hmm. Right, Freddy voice, and they're like, "What?" And then they see that he's got the the two big syringes, and they're like, "Okay, cool." And they just sit there and, and wait. Jason comes up, and Jason Muse plunges both syringes into Jason Voorhees's neck. But Jason Voorhees doesn't go out without a kill. He like he basically like swings both both machetes and severs Muse in half, and then everybody screams, blood flies everywhere, and then Jason Jason gets knocked out in the hallway. And, and then you like, have some really weird overdub of Freddie talking and Jason's mom talking, and it looks like Lori can hear it. I was like, what is going on here? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really strange. But then the next thing we have is Freddie and Jason and their first Monster mash! <laughs> how many, how many times? Mash. 
how many times did did uh, Freddy welcome somebody to his world in this movie? <laughs> At least two. <laughs> many times. There's a many reason times. for that, though. It's enough for the the, the final line to sting. A little. Um, like her saying, "Welcome to my world, bitch." Wouldn't have. I, they're, they're setting that up. I get what you're I saying. Guess, it's a little but... overkill, but they're setting up that last line. <laughs> I guess. I mean, it, it's uh, yeah. Okay. 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 Well, I'll, now I'll... we get. Well, now we get Monster Mash in Freddy's dream world, and Freddy obviously has the upper hand. I mean, he is just wrecking Jason in every way, shape, or form with all his kung fu. Oh, Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. And with his <laughs> fucking pinball action. It's a, That's kind of kill. hilarious. Joke is pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> My criticism of this scene is it's it's so t- red tinted. It's like ah, oh, it's just like God. Why why am I watching the scene like it's on the Nintendo VR, right? It's just like it's just so it's so red. Um, I read that the restoration of this leaned into that more. I haven't seen the DVD to see if it's different, but it was people were critical of that oh, being really? so red. Yeah, I don't like it. Um, I don't. But I but but the the but the mash is fun. It's fun stuff. And then he figures out that Jason is sensitive to water, which no, he's fucking not. No, it's stupid. It's a convenience story. Well, they, yeah, yeah, they're just kind of they're they're adding that stuff in just to give it something. Give it something that they can both use against one another. Which yeah. I, in a way, it's like I'll kind of accept that to just so that. Like they both died by a different elemental thing, and uh, right. that was another auto well, magic discovery well, they, by Lori. Right, she's and she, like, and she one like nails of- that head right on the fucking nail. <laughs> <laughs> just like that head on the just nail. Then. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> um, it's like, how could we use that against them? It's like, oh, fucking, give me a break. Yeah, that's that's part of the stupidity of this movie. There's some exposition dumps of people deciding and learning stuff that just is like, wow. I guess we would have needed another half an hour for someone to figure this out, like, naturally. I don't so need they them just... to figure it out. It's just dumb. What no, I know. But they yeah. need, yeah. Yeah. But anyway. You digress. Um, I do digress. <laughs> you digress. I, <laughs> I do, however, like that um, when he's when he when Freddie is using water against Jason, that then Jason's body in the real world in the van because they're going to take him to Camp Crystal Lake because they're like, all right, let's take him to Camp Crystal Lake. We're going to bring Freddie into the real world. Jason's going to be on home turf, and he's going to fucking kick the shit out of Freddie for us, right? I like that the body is 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 gurgling water and it's like dripping water. I really like that that look you know so so and they're keeping him tranquilized because they got to keep him obviously tranked until they get can let him loose in camp crystal lake and laurie's got to go in the dream world and bring freddie out because she had brought Um, some of his skin out earlier right she knew she brought his ear ear off yeah his ear yeah Um, Um, there's a there's a scene in this though that is really there's a moment in this scene that's really funny with the um uh jason it's jason ritter it's the nerdy kid um i think at this point Lori has gone into the dream world and in kia and uh the nerdy they, they're, they're basically like we got to give jason cpr because he's right. drowning and the nerdy kid's like i can't i've had i've had asthma, since I I have was asthma yeah six. and kia's like oh he's looking at her like no i ain't doing it and jason ritter turns around he's driving the van he turns around and all he says with the most authoritative voices he has asthma <laughs> 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 and it kills me it's so great he says kia he has asthma <laughs> <laughs> like well, love it god damn it so she like they do the thing i don't think she actually gives some cpr right he wakes up before that or something she uh, starts to she starts to she, she pulls the mask off she's about to do it yeah and it's all gross and everything it's super and, gross yeah and wet and bleh. it's very so it's a up. very moist moment yeah yeah he wakes up they're on a 50 15 minute timer right and he wakes up in the van and jason ritter crashes it Yes, yeah. flips yeah. them all over the place. Um, in the dream world, Lori has gone back to Elm Street. She's at her house. She uh, witnesses. There is one. There is one part of the dream where Lori catches uh, Freddie fucking a, a dead naked chick. 
Yes. It's and he's like, and he's fault. like waving her hand like it's, uh, uh, like it's fucking Pennywise in in the in the reeds. Yeah, yeah. Originally, she does wake up there or go to sleep there. I don't know how you talk about this the way this happens. I don't. Know she either. dreams into <laughs> Crystal Lake, sees Freddy having sex with the dead chick, and he's like, "It's not my fault. She's a dead lay, or something <laughs> right. dumb like that, like a total Freddy line." Yes. Um, and then she transfers into. Well, she witnesses uh, uh, Jason being drowned because he's all, right. she's also in yeah. Jason's dream. I don't know how that works, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Sure. It's because she's, she's yelling at people for not saving him, for not helping. And then that's when Freddie turns around. It's like I'm um, busy. You know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, but yeah, so like. In a way, it also kind of maybe saves her at the very end. At the very, very end. Doesn't she also see her mom getting yes. attacked by Freddy? That's where, that's where Chuck was going. Yeah, at. I was trying to get there, but everyone kept bringing me back. Sorry, buddy. I don't like that scene. Why is Freddy attacking an adult? Fair enough. It yeah, would be better know. if it was her father. Yeah. Yeah, because because the adults, this is this is something that has been seen in some of the later sequels of the Nightmare on Elm Street series. That the adults are weird and they're not they're not cool. Yeah. They're yeah. not cool. Yeah, they can't they can't be. I don't know why everyone just doesn't move out of that town. Well, they say <laughs> they say you can't leave. You can't leave and, and escape, Jason or, or Freddie. Freddy. Yeah. You'll have to bring him with you. So it's kind of like a quarantine zone. Freddy's a virus. Yeah. Um, and you can't let him out. And right. no yeah. newcomers. And, and, and um, did, did anybody wonder if the if the people who made this movie just figure that, that New Jersey is just right next door to Ohio or that they just didn't give a fuck? I think the latter. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it was the former, though. <laughs> I mean, in this in this universe, maybe New Jersey is right next to Ohio. I mean, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe Pennsylvania is New Jersey. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I'm sure these two high schools uh, played football against each other. It's like Freddie Town and Jason Town. They're, <laughs> it's Freddieville and rivals. Jason Town. Freddieville and Jason Town. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so yeah. oh, there, there's a funny there's a funny line way earlier that i forgot to mention um uh by jason muse this is the most jason muse moment of the fake jason muse when he says that goalie was pissed <laughs> yep <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah freddie calls jason mr puck or something too at some point yeah something, something like, like that. that yeah uh, what happens yeah. next? Uh, so the big, the big, the, 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 so yeah. So like Jason is free and they are going to go to a cabin at Crystal Lake and they've got to wake, um, they, they've Lori got up. to Lori up and, but they can't. And what ends, and she gets attacked by Freddie. And what ends up happening is the place starts on fire and uh and then it, her arm rolls into the fire she realizes she's waking up so she grabs freddy yeah this is smart this is smart business here um because that brings him into the real world and then he realizes uh oh jason Voorhees is behind me and oh, that, a, oh, this shit moment it's yeah crazy. that's pretty badass mm -hmm. um because jason then is like gurgle 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 which is jason Voorhees for welcome to my world in some, <laughs> stupid, in, some, in some stupid new metal song starts playing is that by il nino whose video <laughs> is all over our dvd um, probably ill as in i-l-l -L, because they're they are <laughs> they're ill they're, they're ill and and they're, they're boys and <laughs> and they are metal they're ill Ill metal boys. is their 2003 metal is fuck. <laughs> god i do want to make one quick mention that the soundtrack of this movie is atrocious i totally oh, did yeah. not pay attention to the music uh, well, uh, yeah see chuck you did a good job i am desensitized <laughs> to it because of 
Resident because of Resident Evil. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> So it's kind of like it, it happens to me and it just kind of bounces off uh, of me now because I've been inoculated <laughs> by Resident Evil. You can Holy definitely hell. just watch movies from every decade to know how good the music was in that decade for the most part. Uh, I don't think that's totally fair though. There was a lot of good I there was, was a lot of good joking. music in the aughts. But man, they didn't No, well, I can tell you I, I can tell you by watching I'm talking about popular music. Sure. Well, I can tell you by watching a popular movie like Resident Evil. Again, going back to Resident Evil that came out the year before this, you can realize how bad some genre movies were in the early 2000s yeah just yeah. fucking atrocious everything about them was bad and this movie uses its badness in all the right ways but this is this would count because it does it falls into all the same traps it just yep. does it almost winking at you like fuck it we're gonna do it like this you're gonna take their you're just gonna sit there and take it I don't know. I think a guy named Ronnie probably liked this music. But I think I he know? probably did too. Are you saying it's Ronnie? Yes. Yeah. I wasn't going to bring the last name into it because I just wanted it to be a first name joke. <laughs> don't want it to be about anyone's nationality or anything. Just a Ronnie would like. Yeah. I don't know. Well, no, you I, no, would, I, I, no, you, you <laughs> would. I, I got you. I'm understanding what you are saying. Uh, uh, wow. Okay, so yeah, Jason and, and so Freddie is now on the run. He's now on the defense because he's in the real world and super fucked. Um, and, and and like he does one thing where he like he sends a lot of rebars down at, at Jason. That's that's yeah, why cool is there thing. a construction site at Camp Crystal Lake? Is there I was trying to read the sign of what was coming soon because there is a it's sign probably that, like a Carl's Jr. or something. <laughs> uh, it might be a Hardee's there. Oh, know. it might be. Yeah. Yeah, it, could, it might be. Yeah. It might be. We're more on the East Coast, I think. Yeah. <laughs> if they really wanted to be cool, it would be a Burger Chef. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, we do have to mention that Nerdy Boy has been thrown into a wall and and has a big laceration in his stomach back from yes. a, a, a shelf hanger thingy or whatever. Right, um, and he's dying. He's dying. Uh, the other guy, um, Will, has been hurt as well. Um, but but Lori is kind of helping him to get to a boat to get. To the Out other of the side water. of the lake, yeah. and I think they just want to go to the middle of the water because that's where everyone goes in Friday the Thirteenth movie. That's true. That's where they go. Uh, <laughs> it is where they go. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like right now we're in a Friday the Thirteenth movie, so <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah. So and then, uh, but 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 um, Kia is is uh, helping uh, nerd guy out into the woods ex escaping the burning yeah. cabin that jason and freddie started off she, she she acts as a distraction she is given a hero's death yeah um, she gets launched somehow this is when she calls freddie or not freddie jason the f word it's like no oh, freddie yeah. it's freddie or it's freddie the freddie the f word because she because yeah. she also not fuck by the way the other f word the the, the, the derogatory the, term for yeah for, uh, a gay person, yes. Right, and and also is is making fun of his manhood because he has little itty tiny blades, but then he like flexes them and then she jumps back. It's like, well, then you're just already. I I, I do I actually do like um, Robert England's performance in this scene. He's very expressive. Um, yeah, it looks she, like he you know, says she, like, "What's up with the butter knives?" And she starts like insulting his manhood. He's he's actually kind of like. He winces, kind of, and he's he's very, I don't know, he's very expressive. Well, I, at one point, he kind of chuckles, like, oh, this bitch is going to get it. Well, he sees what we don't see right. behind her, and it's really funny. I, his, his kind of smirk and his glee when when Jason gives it to her is pretty great. Like, yeah, he throws her basically it's, into it's a top notch. Pipes. It's a top-notch Freddy, Freddy yeah. acting there, yeah. Yeah. Right. It's like, oh, okay, well, I guess that got rid of her. Yeah. Um, but I still have to deal with Jason. I'm going to slice all of these rebars down. They're going to fall on Jason. And some of them go through his leg. And After kinda... he shot a bunch of CO2 canisters at him, like Oh, missiles. that's right, because he says, damn the torpedoes. And so he yeah. like, 
yeah. he slices the the um, nozzles off of him. I do yeah. like when he's trying to push the 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 truck of cement down, and it, it gets stuck. He's like, "Oh, give me a break!" <laughs> 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 like he's just having a bad day. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> um so uh so yeah so Lori has helped um uh uh, jason ritter to the boat but then she's like no i'm not leaving fuck this you know it's like i'm gonna finish this and and we're all like you go girl you got this (laughs) You, you have proven yourself to be a capable final girl um through the entire dream sequence with jason and freddie you do this but freddie's Go ahead. No, uh, yeah. So Freddie and Jason um, are are battling out on the dock at this point. They they make their way all the way to the lake, um, and like you know, he's slashing Jason. He get, at one point he gets Jason's uh, machete and starts using it on on him, um, and he does this by slicing off his fingers, making him drop the. the and Jason just kind of looks at his hand like, oh. Well, that's oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's weird. Now, I had that happen to me before. Um, <laughs> and then, um, so she's like spraying down the, the dock with gasoline to light it on fire, I guess. Um, I, I guess. I mean, I guess that's, I guess. What she, that's, her, that's her move. That she's, she's gonna that's burn, her salvo. Yeah. I don't yeah. even get what she's trying to do here. Doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't matter because all the action is happening at the other end of the dock. Yeah. And and uh, and so um, eventually um, she does light the thing on fire, and they both go falling into the lake on fire because of the explosion of the huge flammable gas tank. <laughs> right. And so her and and uh, Jason Ritter are like. You know, it's like, oh, we did it. We we did it. It's awesome. Uh oh, there's some there's there's a machete and some boots coming towards us. We expect <laughs> to see Jason, but it's Freddie, and he's like, I'm gonna get you. And, and then, but, is this is this when he does the thing where he like comes out of the water? It's so cool. I don't remember when exactly in the fight this happens. That is I, a really cool it's shot. It's one of my favorite shots is when he comes up out of the water, like levitating out of the water and lands on the dock. Oh, it's cool. Oh, that's in the dream. That's in the dream. That's in the dream. Okay. Yeah. Because oh, that's man, staring awesome. the that's staring light. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, because he doesn't have those powers in the real world. Right, um, right, right. So he's he's also lost his arm. He's lost his claw arm. Um his right arm and he's like about to slice them with the machete and all of a sudden his yeah. torso explodes and jason has run him through with his whole arm through all the way through him. <laughs> <laughs> and then and they jason, both uh, jason, jason does the godzilla and like swims out <laughs> right. <really> yeah. <laughs> right. and, and it's so. seemingly almost like a nod to like hey I remember you uh, as, as in my dream as a kid. It's like you're cool, and he just goes away, and and, and Freddie falls into the. Um, oh, and then he gets his head, and then uh, that's when Monica Kina is like, "Walk in my world, motherfuckers!" and slices his head off. Slices heavy, and he does like raw shit, like face on, yeah, and yeah, dead, deaded, yeah, he's been deaded. And and, and uh, Monica Keener and, and uh, Jason Ritter is like, we're all good. Let's um, let's we never speak of any of this ever again. Yes, and then we let's see... go back. Let's go back to Freddy Town. <laughs> yeah, back to Freddy Town. <laughs> maybe maybe we should move to uh, maybe we should move to this place in Illinois I've heard about. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna move to a place called Mike Bird. Mike Soda. Mike Soda. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mike Soda. So uh yeah, so the the next morning comes and Jason emerges from the from the water and he's got his little trophy and it's his little Freddy head and Freddy winks and there we go. Heavy metal. Heavy metal. Not even heavy metal. It's like dumb metal. Yeah. It's, it's Il Nino. <laughs> Did you say dumb metal or stump dumb metal? metal. It's like, oh, stump metal is funnier. <laughs> stupid. Stupid. This, uh, stupid this, music plays. 
this movie is a lot of fucking fun. It is. Yeah. yeah. Um, this this did have a sequel in comic books. Oh. Yeah. Um, and it opens with um, Monica Keener's character getting killed. Um, but to to take Wait. her place is, yeah. I believe, Ash. Yeah, I have this run: Freddy versus Jason versus Ash, yep. and it's awesome. Is it? Yeah, it's really fun. Sweet, yep. I'll have to read that. It, it's way too short, though. I think it was only like five or six episodes. I don't even know if it was that long. I think it was only four yeah. issues. But it was yeah. re- it was really short run. Um, but it was really fun. It was. I think some people would say this is kind of like adapted from an idea of what they wanted to do with another movie. Yeah. Um, because it, it was, um, I mean, like it was, it was time. widely reported that, mm-hmm. that yes, uh, that, that Bruce Campbell would, would kind of step God. up. I remember that actually. If they could have sorted out all the rights and the money, man, I would have been fun. That would have been really fun. I don't, I mean, well, also there was supposedly, going to be i can't remember i think it was at the end of this movie supposedly it was supposed to like there was some rumor also that that existed and i this could be bullshit and if it is i apologize but supposedly these two would end up back in hell not coming out of the water but they'd end up back in hell with um pinhead greeting him Mm, and asking yeah, them, I, rem- I remember hearing about that yep. and, and and the line was supposed to be gentlemen what seems to be the problem here yeah yeah, yeah. damn that would have been cool uh, all of this stuff would have been super cool it would have been cooler when we were younger probably like yeah. i don't know if i want to see that shit now but you know i mean sure 18 years ago yeah fine but like, but, still, but certainly like, in the early these 90s, were, these or, were our monsters. These were these like were our, our, monsters. our monsters, and it yep. would have been cool to have more monster mash. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's just unfortunate they were all they all belong to different studios Probably that that, studios. that don't want to work together. And, and it's yeah. also unfortunate we can't get, we'll never get Freddy back again. We'd have to have a new actor. We'd have to have something like. Oh, we have um, already. I mean, even if they yeah. did try to go back to this robert england is what 70 there's no way he's coming back to yeah this franchise again and that's hard like that's why i like movies like scream or halloween or friday the 13th because the killer is not a personality right the killer is just the killer right yeah and you anyone can kind of play him um the personification of evil yeah 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 and uh, yeah that's one of the great with things the, with, the, with the thread of backstory yeah yeah exactly i mean like yeah you, you the the backstory remains the same the the guy under the mask can be anybody right um, i mean hell we've seen a few different pinheads now hell priests and to varying degrees of effectiveness yeah Cause doug bradley i mean he's probably never going to play pinhead again yeah no um, it's the, it's and the end, and the end of the, the monster the, era, and we're and we're but we're back into a slasher era. Yeah, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, now, speaking of of Hellraiser, the TV show that's coming along is going to um, adapt the concept of a, of a female pinhead. I like that. Yeah. I mean, I mean the 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 Cinnabites. There's a lot that, that can be done with them. That were a lot has been done with them in clive barker's novels and in the comics but not in the movies like there's a whole whole plethora of ideas that they haven't even touched that it's shocking really that they haven't with the cenobites yep but we're not really talking about how no, we are. we've done that and yeah. yeah that's fine that's fine that we've done that yeah well, that's done forever <laughs> yeah. and ever and ever um <laughs> so um yeah, so I don't know. I mean, guys, I, I would give this um, uh, 10 out of 13 Jasons. 10 out of 13 Jasons. That's a lot of Jasons. It's a lot of Jasons, but you know what? It's a, it's a fun. It's a fun amount of Jasons. I have to think about that. Um, maybe someday we should rank these. I know. Maybe. 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 Maybe in a couple of years, next 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 Friday the thirteenth. Which, yeah. by the way, happy Friday the thirteenth, everyone. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Happy, happy, <laughs> yeah, happy yeah, guys. Wasn't there, wasn't there a, wasn't there a Friday Thirteenth where I talked about the fact that that Jason doesn't kill Jasons? Uh, that was one of our earliest. That was our. That was our. Um, that trilogy we did to kind of start yeah. the whole thing off, and then we just released it as kind of like the demo, kind of like a special edition. Yeah, and I think that I thought I was actually wrong because I think there, he has killed a Jason because, but the because the whole thing got started because he didn't kill Jason Ritter in this movie, hmm. and I was like, I don't think Jason kills Jasons. <laughs> And so I started to go deep dive into all of Jason's kills, and I'm pretty sure he's killed at least one actor named Jason. Maybe oh, not a character surely. named Jason, but an actor named yeah. Jason. Was, there might have been one, but anyway, I don't know. Anyway. We only have one more. That's what I'm saying. We only have yeah, one more. So We've been on this journey for many years now. I know. It has been a, it has been a journey. Um, so, And we've done this in different ways, and we finally just landed on doing these as Friday the 13th special episodes um because we did those first three movies as kind of our it was our it was our trial run it was our pilot um and then we did the tommy jarvis series as an episode that i was um belligerent belligerently drunk (laughs) um kind of like a Catherine isabel in that episode um and then we, you know, then we started doing them as these kind of special Friday the 13th episodes. So our yeah. next Friday the 13th is May 13th, 2022. Um, and so obviously we do have uh, some unfinished uh, business there with um, the Platinum Dunes uh, remake uh, that that brought um, good old... Uh, uh, paramount pictures back into the whole thing and uh what we plan to do as far as the uh january 13th 2023 we'll we'll see we shall see we shall see we shall see see. come back for those because jason and jeff are both gonna say something awesome this is my professional tease for next year (laughs) (laughs) well you know what i've got something better for them to do why don't they just come back for all of our stuff in between now and May? We'll likely all say something very cool somewhere in the next however many months. It that explodes. Be. I'll tell you that. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> See, I've already I've already done my quota, so I don't need to say anything awesome again until next year. <laughs> Sweet. 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 So, um, yeah, so here we are. The uh, the Good. end of um, the. Thank you the, for listening. Go yeah. with, go go enjoy your Friday the Thirteenth marathon because you I know that you are you're going to watch at least two or three of them. I usually and, do, and and you should. I usually do as well, and I'll probably watch. Usually, I watch four, five, and six. I think Chuck is going to watch nine and ten, probably. I, know I am going wrong. to watch. I'm going to watch. One, three, five, and seven, and we've got it all covered at that. Point. Two, three, four. Mm, that's a good one. I, I one, do three, like... five, or seven are prime movies. Yes, they are. Yes, they, they are. are. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, the the regular episodes of Film Seizure they happen on Wednesdays. Um, next Wednesday is the Boobs with Tom Hanks. Boobs. The Burb. The Burbs. <laughs> That's what Guys. my cats like to look at every morning out the window, the burbs. This is, um, this is Walter. Yeah. So anyway, so that's going to be next week. You do those things. You, wherever you listen to us, whether it's uh, SoundCloud or Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts or Stitcher, TuneIn, Spotify, Audible, any of those places, that's where our stuff normally is. So why don't you subscribe to us there? Why don't you smash some like buttons or something? <laughs> and why don't you... Why don't you uh, engage uh, audience um, and do that? Yeah, <laughs> that's what we're supposed to do. Fuck it. Just Fuck do a it. thing. Just listen to us. Please. Listen to us. Anyway. Yes. So uh, Friday the 13th may be done for this year, but we will be back just like Jason Voorhees usually comes back. And we're going to do it again uh, on our next Friday the 13th. So, um, and I'm pretty sure I don't think I don't think there's another Friday the 13th this year. I could be wrong. <laughs> let me 
Because now I'm beginning to doubt myself. That, that would be hilarious. If there is another Friday. No, there isn't. There isn't. Okay. That that scared me there for a second. So anyway, yeah. So next year, that's the next Friday Thirteenth. You know, you know, we're gonna talk about that stuff, and and we've got plans for the future anyway. So until then, I am Jeff Arbuckle. I'm ch 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 uh uh uh. Nice, nice. I am Jason Voorhees Oliver, and you have been listening to Film Seizure.